Hey guys, Lou here. Hey, check this out. Sunny day at our Silverton, Oregon sales center location. Now this has been a rarity, uh, but it's really an awesome day. And it's a great day to show you one of our recent builds. Now this is a model unit that's up for sale. At least it is right now. This is a 26 foot castle peak. I wanna point out a couple of things on this particular build. Of course, our signature 80 inch tall windows. Um, we added the shed roof accent to this particular build, which basically takes a portion of the roof line and turns it into a single slope. It's a one in 12 roof pitch. Uh, and then we've done this really cool copper accent in that area and I hope you know you can really get a good shot of it. I know it's a little shady because of the angle we're in right now, but I think it turned out just beautiful. Um, take a look at that. We've done these cool porch lights in this particular build, and I think it turned out fantastic. Uh, front door, here we go again with a single light French door with the built-in blinds. Um, we painted it in a, in a maroon color. I think it, it's, it accentuates the exterior of this house and, and kind of just really says, come on in. With that, we're gonna go on in. So let's check it out. <laughs> here we are, Castle Peak, 26 foot. We added uh, our Murphy table in here as an option. Of course, that means it just folds up and down to basically ma maximize your usable space in here if you want it to, to uh, fold up and down, cool. If you wanna leave it up, that's cool too. Um, right in front of the 3080 windows over the top of the wheel well. Um, this particular build uh, at 26 feet, what it does is it offers a nine by eight flex room. That's the area that you see with the sofa in it right now. That can easily become a Murphy bed, a sleeper sofa. We can sometimes we wall this off, barn door and section it so it's away from everything else and secluded, really up to you. In this particular case, we left it nice and open, which is our standard layout. Above that, you've got that nine by eight area also in the primary loft and we'll check that out in, in just a minute. So with that, I'm gonna walk back here. I don't know if I mentioned the fact that we did our, our signature sweeping ladder uh, in this build. We can always do a staircase if you'd rather, or a, a big variety, in fact, of, of uh, ladders if, if you'd rather do something special, custom, easy enough. And if you've checked our stuff out, you've probably seen a variety of the things that we do. Um, so this area back here, we've got the sectional sofa in here, the three uh, 46 by 40 inch windows, our standard ceiling is finished with the, uh, the TNG pine with the exposed 4x4 beams. You've got the white beadboard finish, the white millwork, um, all tying it in very well, uh, if, I, if I do say so myself. Um, as we look behind me and go into the kitchen area, now we've got this large pantry cabinet. Now what we've done here, now we didn't put the washer dryer in here this time, we prepped it. So this can become a closet space with a hanging rod, adjustable shelves, which can go right in front of that prep for the washer and dryer. So it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a flexible space for you. We've got a drawer below it, and then we've got uh, another cabinet above here and another cabinet above that. So you got a lot of, a lot of storage in here. And as we talk about storage, our extended height overhead cabinets, you've got several of those cabinets. Yeah, they're up there. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit to get to them, but it's offering you additional storage that you wouldn't otherwise have. And as we look up, you'll notice the shed roof that I talked about when we were outside. Isn't that cool? Tongue and groove, cedar. I think it, it really does a nice job of warming this area up. We've got our optional cage fan. All of our houses come standard prepped for a ceiling fan. We recommend that you do a ceiling fan no bigger than 36 inches. Uh, that's an 18 inch. So as we walk through the remainder of the kitchen, you'll notice we've got quartz countertops in here. We've got a tie-in with the backsplash. We've got our optional apron sink. Some people call it a farm sink. Our springy dingy faucet with a satin nickel finish. You'll notice the 3080 window here. It's a little dirty, isn't it? That's what the sunshine does. It brings out all those, all the dusties. Anyway, uh, cabinets in here, we did the uh, optional uh, white cabinets. 
The style of cabinets, however, is standard. All of our cabinets are standard uh, as, a, as a, a shaker style, and that's what you see here. Um, we've got fully extended drawer guides, basically means the drawer comes all the way out so you can access the far rear of it, it goes all the way to the back. Soft close feature for the drawers and the doors. And what we've done in this particular build is we've added this really cool five-way electric oven. Above that, a three burner propane cooktop, stainless steel range hood that vents to the outside of the house. We've done a, a this, this is an 11 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator, lots of space inside there. And if we continue to the right, I'm going to take our standard ladder here and move it over, and I'm going to show you. We didn't have it hooked right, so there we go. So we could film that when I came in, but now it is. Look at the depth of this. This is a little over 30 inches in width, and it's two feet deep. That can have a closet rod in there, or a succession of closet rods, adjustable shelves above. So it really offers a lot of versatility for you. Below it, a lot of times what we do are open shoe cubbies. In this particular case, we did adjustable shelves with cabinet doors over them. So once again, versatility, flexibility, name of the game. With that, I'm gonna move this ladder over, and I'm gonna have Nick go into the bathroom so you can take a, take a look at that. I'm not going in with you. We're gonna get a little too cozy if I do. So here you go, 48 inch shower, two seat, and it's a one piece shower, no seams. You don't want that sucker to leak. We've got three slim light LEDs in the ceiling. The one over the shower you see there is rated for water or to be in that area. You've got a medicine cabinet. It's a mirrored medicine cabinet above the uh, lavvy. That's our standard sink. Did a nice cool backsplash there, don't you think? And then we've got the linen cabinet here. Uh, usually what happens is you've got four doors in that linen, which, is, which are standard. In this particular case, we'll replace one of the doors with a bank of drawers. This is our standard uh, residential toilet. And we can option in many, many different toilets, whether they're composting, incinerating, uh, dry flush. You, know, you tell us what you need, no big deal. And you've got an obscure window in this bathroom versus clear. The vent for the bathrooms, as is all of our bathrooms, vents to the outside of the house, and they all have a vent. You don't want that moisture accumulation in your tiny house. Pretty cool stuff, huh? With that, we're gonna go up and take a look at the primary loft. Come on with me. We're gonna go up and take a look at the uh, primary loft. Come on, come with me. See if Nick can climb on up. We can kinda give you a, a nice peek of this particular area. As I said before, this is a nine foot long by about eight foot wide loft queen bed up here no problem putting a king up here um, the flooring in here is a TNG pine got a nice durable finish on it we can easily place a, a loft cabinet up here it's going to be a little skinny but with adjustable shelves open provide you that much more storage that you didn't have otherwise three windows up here two of them are egress so in the event of an emergency you can get out of here Cool, huh? If Nick can turn around, he can give you a shot of the secondary loft. There you go, six by eight. Now we've got it set up as a little reading area, but I mean, you can turn that into a wardrobe or additional storage, uh, a lot of different things. We can wall that off. It can be a secondary bedroom. It also has the same three windows that you saw up here, two which are egress. They all open, so you'll have a nice airflow in that area if you choose, if you need it. White finish throughout, beadboard, white millwork, all painted with durable paint, so it's going to last you a long time. Pretty cool look, don't you think? You know what I didn't talk about was the mini split. So we've got a ductless heating and cooling system in this house, super energy efficient and super quiet. So it does, it does all the heating and cooling. It doesn't cost about a few pennies a day to run. 
So it really is a nice system. With that, let's go back down and I'm gonna talk about what I talked about. All right, guys, recap. Here we are in the 26 foot Castle Peak dual lofts. Primary lofts, nine feet. Secondary lofts, six feet. The whole house is 26 feet, and I believe we're about 360 square feet of usable space, counting the lofts. We've got the shed roof accent in this particular house. We've got the extended height lofts in this house, where we've taken the loft height from 48 inches and extended it to 51 to give you that much more headroom in there. We've had the optional Murphy table here in the, in the dining area that are sweeping ladder. We've got the uh, really cool um, oven, the propane cooktop, the enlarged refrigerator, stainless steel range hood, the smooth shaker, white finished cabinets, sports countertops, upgraded backsplash. Uh, if you notice the backsplash too, we've got, we, we changed all the colors of the receptacles to, to a gray, just to bring in and basically blend in, I should say, with the existing colors there. The optional um, apron sink with the cool spring style commercial faucet, the 3080 window above it. The energy efficient mini split. The prep for the washer dryer inside the, the, uh, the pantry cabinet there. Um, we've got the uh, flex room set up as a living room right now, but very easily can become a bedroom. We can wall it off, do a pocket door, barn door to section it off for the remainder of the house. Uh, bathroom with our standard 48 inch one piece uh, fiberglass shower, the bank of drawers, medicine cabinet, uh, cool backsplash in the bathroom. And really, I think this house turned out very well. Um, really, we appreciate you guys checking us out. Hopefully, this has given you uh, a pretty good view of this most recent build of our stock model. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Love to talk to you. Thank you so much for checking this video out. We look forward to hearing from you, hopefully in the near future. Thanks again, Lou with Tiny Mountain Houses. Talk to you next time.